Yeah. Um, I want to ask you, um, I see you sometimes use like a small bow. Sometimes I see you kneeling down, not wearing a uh, cue doggy. Uh, oh, what, what is that different? Uh, okay. Sometimes the target is this big. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> so uh, there is one other type of cue jitsu I do. It's called Shihan Mato. And Shihan Mato started in Miyazaki Ken, Miyazaki Prefecture. And it was about 350 years ago so they use a bow hankyu so yumi the regular dai daikyu so big size yumi is as you mentioned about 221 or 226 centimeters so, so there are a couple of different sizes so this one is about half the size so i think it's about 150 or 145 centimeters it's a lot shorter yeah. So, um, but it's still Yumi. So the thing that categorizes Yumi is the grip is one third of the way down. So it's asymmetric. Mm. Um, so this is what's different to recurve, you know, recurve is symmetric. So you'll have the grip in the middle. And so there are many reasons for this grip theory. Um, it was used on horseback. It was used crouching down. So they needed to put the grip lower down so it didn't get in the way horseback so that it, you know, you could shoot on horseback more easily. Um, but anyway, so this is what, Yumi is, but Hankyu in Shihan Mato. So we use these arrows. Actually, I have um, I have them, but they won't fit on camera. Um, they are about the same size as the bow themselves. So the arrow is oh. also about 150 centimeters oh. long. Yeah, and then we shoot eight eight meters away from the target, so it's a lot closer. And the target oh. is the target is a lot a lot smaller. So the origins of this was that the samurai clan, uh, Shimazu, uh, the leader of the clan, wanted to teach the peasants uh, archery skills without having them come back and try to fight him. So they wanted to make it less martial art and more yeah. just getting archery skills, skills in case you know the village was attacked. Yeah. So they made ah, okay. the arrows, yeah they made the arrows super long so that you know I mean you could shoot it but it's not gonna go very far like you couldn't probably kill somebody with it or anything like that so it's come from that history of the non martial application mm. it is a type of kujitsu so it is a type mm. of archery um, and it's come into modern day and uh, people do it as a sport and just for fun so it's very different to kudo. Yeah, um, I have one question. Um, you said something about it, it was brought to people who are not warriors. Yes. Um, and also you can do it kneeling down, crouching. I've seen the people with you, like so one woman was on a wheelchair, if I'm not. If yes, I'm not. yes. So this is one really cool thing. And the reason why I want to mm. show more people is because, you know, kudo, you need to be really, really, you need to be standing or mm. wheelchair if you are already a practitioner of kudo it's okay but it depends on the dojo but mm. shihan mato is really great we sit in seiza or if you can't sit seiza so seiza is the traditional japanese i think everybody watching probably knows seiza um if you can't sit seiza if you have you know your knees or your back are sore you can sit in a chair to shoot or you can sit in a wheelchair if you're a wheelchair um mm. based person mm. also uh kudo the thing is we shoot with our left hand is the bow hand and our right hand is the, the glove. So we pull with our right. However, Shiha Mato, they have left-handed bows, left-handed Yumi, which is like really rare. Mm. Is, is this possible? Um, like, as I said, like you can shoot it from any position. Was yeah. it for, um, and you said like it doesn't go very far. So is it possible this is something from like for like home invasions or something like near like in your property someone is there yes not I necessarily think like highly elite bushy that's right so they wanted to teach them i mean handling bow and arrow so that would they would be used to it in the case where something did happen they yeah. would know how to use it instead of having these villagers who have no idea like which way around does it go they have no idea at least they will be used to shooting bows and arrows mm. um Supposedly samurai, bushi, they used it for fun though. So when mm. they were, yeah, I mean, that was just like, so they used it too. However, it was taught to peasants 
just to give them skills in bow and arrow, which yeah. I thought was kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that 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 it makes sense if you think about it. it's small, it can fit in your next to your bed, or you know, so someone is near your vicinity, you can easily get them. You can lay down, you can crouch low. I don't know something, but um, it seems yeah. very like for uh, as opposed to like a huge uh, right. Of, yeah. Right, yeah. 